Right. And my dad played guitar and he would play these kind of Irish folk songs and a lot of Van Morrison and things like that. Oh, cool. So I would play along with my recorder. And that was the first time he was like, okay, kids got an ear. Because I yeah. didn't really, I just figured it out. Wow. And then went on to clarinet because there was a girl in the year above me that played it and I really fancied her. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that was the graduation from recorder. And then we got to about 12 or 13. <laughs> I thought, you know what? I still didn't get the girl from the year above. Oh. So I thought maybe maybe guitar will guitar do it. No, no, that was my only motivation. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sounds like it. <laughs> well, I don't know, you know. <laughs> it's not the string of the bow of being a musician. <laughs> but no, I so yeah, started a band um, with some friends at school at kind of 13. Okay. And we did like a talent competition. Actually, this is funny. It's going to go back to girls again. Uh, but I remember perfect. being with my parents at this talent show. And this girl came over and she was like, hey, I really loved your gig. It's like, I'd like to give you my number. And my parents are crying laughing behind <laughs> like classic embarrassing parent. And I think probably, I'm not obviously loved playing the music and forming a band, but that was another moment when I was like, okay, you're right. It's <laughs> quite fun. Yeah. It worked better than the recorder. <laughs> nice. But, um, yeah, started a school band and we, this is in the days of MySpace. Okay. So we ended up, we, it was kind of, it was like a, it was kind of a pop punky sound, which was when we were sort of 14, 15. And that's what was, pe I mean, it was really hitting in the UK. There was a touring scene for it. Oh, yeah. And our guitarist at the time, his dad had just retired. So he said, hey, look, I want to I drive you guys. So he built a trailer, had like a people carrier. And it meant that when we were 16 years old, I kind of made fake email addresses as like management. Oh, like, wow. made up and, and we'd book tours. We used to play up in Scotland, <laughs> like 16 years old. And so we did the whole MySpace circuit. And I got a flavor of touring as like a young teenager. Wow. And then that's to doing that. You're getting the full story here. But doing that led to meeting the manager that was looking after Luke and Adam at the time. Okay. Just from, um, yeah, just from being on the, the UK music scene, really. And so that's, that's how, how you linked up with, with yeah. Luke and Adam was so through yeah, that so manager. So that hand the baton nicely over. Yes. Yeah, it came to the point where my people have different things in, in bands, going to uni and things like that when we got a bit older. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, I was ready for something new. And so yeah, I happened to meet this guy through everybody we met on the road and then met the boys. Wow. 